peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ wholeheartedly. Uh, today I want to start a, God willing, I want to start a three-part series about the kingdom of God. I think it's important that people have an understanding of uh, what the kingdom of God is, first of all, and what it truly means to enter in into the kingdom of God, and also how you can know that you are in the kingdom of God. Uh, today, it seems to me that there are so many different ideas of what it is to be in God's kingdom and even what his kingdom is. So uh, first thing I want to look at is what is the kingdom of God? I want to uh, look at some scripture and kind of break it down so that there is a clear understanding of what God's kingdom is because a lot of people believe that his kingdom is somewhere that we're going to go after we leave this earth or after you die or after Jesus returns. So let's look at some scripture and see what the uh, what the Bible says about it. Let's look at uh, Luke 17. Verse 20 and 21. It says, now when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. Okay, so we see here that the kingdom of God does not come with observation, meaning you won't see it with your eyes. It's not something that you can behold, something that we're going to see when we leave this earth or when we leave these bodies. It says, nor will they say, see here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. So we see here that the kingdom of God is not something that we're going to see, but the kingdom of God is something that is within us. Okay, well, let's go to another scripture. Let's look at uh, John chapter 14, uh, verse 1 through 6. So we can see what uh, Jesus Christ had to say uh, about the kingdom of God and, and what it is. These are uh, the words of Jesus here. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, in the way you know. That's important right there. He says, where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way? Now, Jesus is going to answer Thomas here. This is important. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. So the place Jesus said that where I go, you know, so the place that he is going is himself. <laughs> so he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God. When we seek out his kingdom, we're seeking Jesus Christ. We're seeking to enter in to Jesus Christ, which is reconciliation to God. That is uh, the blessing of Jesus Christ. That was God's purpose for Jesus Christ was to reconcile 
sinners to himself. Those who are who are lost, he calls out of the world. But Jesus Christ is the mediator that connects us back to God. That is the kingdom of God. That is what eternal life is. It is entering in into Christ. Let's look at another scripture. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 6. It says, but God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Notice there that he says in Christ Jesus, not sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We're going to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So the, the heavenly places are not necessarily the kingdom of God. It, it will be in, you know, uh, it will be his kingdom, but not because of the place. It will be the kingdom of God because it's where Jesus Christ dwells is where God, our father, will uh, dwell. That is the kingdom, it, the eternal life that is in Christ Jesus. Let's go to Acts chapter 17, verse 26 through 28. So you can see these uh, next couple of videos will be kind of... Uh, you know, scripture based. I want to really pull from the scripture so that you can see that these are not my words and that, you know, the Bible is in agreement with what I'm, with what I'm saying. It says, and he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. And has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him. That's God's hope for every person is that we may grope for him, that we may seek him and, and find him. Though he is not far from each one of us, for in him, in who? That's, he's talking about in Jesus Christ. In him, we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. So we see that in Christ Jesus, we live and move and have our being. That is the kingdom of God, is finding Christ Jesus, is, is living in Jesus, putting on Christ. Is, is, that is being born again. Being born again is receiving the spirit of God. And, and that is the kingdom. That's what the kingdom is. So uh, the idea that when we die, we're going to go to the kingdom of God is a is a false, false belief. The kingdom of God is here now and people are pressing into the kingdom. Uh, you can enter into the kingdom right now. You can enter into Jesus Christ and eternal life now. That is God's purpose for you is to find him to enter into his kingdom to uh, be born again and walk in newness in Christ. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he, he is a new creation. That is the kingdom. I hope this uh, blesses you and, and gives you uh, some understanding about the kingdom of God. If you lacked understanding in this, uh, in, in, in this uh, area, uh, I hope that you will come back and, and uh, watch the next video. It's going to be on uh, 
how to enter into the kingdom of God. It's a very important uh, teaching that mo that a lot of people today are not being taught the uh, correct doctrine, not being taught the, the correct way to enter into God's kingdom.